So let's go back a little bit. Um, before you were working at Big Brother, what was your job prior to that? Tile setter. Tile setter apprentice. <laughs> let's get to the truth here, Mike. You I like... used to sell rubber gloves on the phone. What would you use with those rubber gloves? <laughs> you want, like, if you're, like, painting or something. <laughs> you're painting. Your house or cooking and you don't three, want to contaminate Three pairs for the price of one or something? All right, I'm going to let you know uh, what Mike used to do. He yeah. Used to- I, yeah, I used to have a job where I would um, talk to men on the phone about whatever it was they needed to talk about <laughs> to get themselves pleasure. And sometimes girls would call too. But yeah, I did a job doing gay phone sex for a while, like maybe two and a half months, three months, right before I started at Big Brother. I always used to think that was bullshit. Gay phone sex? That you did that for a job. No, I did it. Like, I don't... Um, I'm not shy, but I think gay people are great. You know, I was kind of raised a nudist. I've been going to a nude beach. Not that that makes me gay, but I've been going to a nude beach since I was a little kid. And um, so I never had any problems with gay people. And I thought, oh, my God, like, what a great job to get, like, character development, to learn about characters and learn about people, than to talk to them on the phone and figure out wh- wh- how these people think and why they do the way they do. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it was kind of like... I felt kind of like Dr. Drew on Loveline mm-hmm. because the way that phone sex works is you get paid for keeping the people on the phone for the greatest amount of time. So the object is to not talk about sex by keeping them on the phone. So it was like, oh, you would want to analyze them and figure out why they want to like jack off in dirty socks or something like that, you know? Could you tell if anyone was jacking off to you when you were... Oh, all the time. Yeah, you can tell by the way they're breathing and just like little sounds and just like... And then you'd have, like, your little jack-off noise that you do yourself. Like, they tell you, they're like, do this little noise. Did you ever have a feminine voice? Not really. For some reason, I never got, I can never do it, really. I never got going that, that way. Hmm. I was never the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you know, is, like I said, has been on Jackass. Not a lot, but there's been a lot of crucial moments where we need a skilled individual, and it's this guy. And that's probably the reason why he hasn't been on more than he has, because he's too good. If you need a good skating segment, this guy right here. And uh, But let's talk about some of the things you've been in. And uh, remember, remember when we did the paintball draw? Paintball draw, yeah. It was yeah, you and Chris and P- uh, Knoxville and I, right? Yeah. Up at the Sunset Ranch. Yeah, that was fun. It was a good day. It was an easy day. Did you win? I did win. Who did I win against, though? I won a little bit, didn't I? I think I won in style points. Yeah, you did. You had the best hat, that's for sure. Yeah, I had this little red, little cowboy hat on. God, I look cute. Chris had the best chaps, though. Did he? Yeah. Is he assless? <laughs> assless chaps, <laughs> black leathers. Freddie Mercury style. <laughs> wow. Hell bent for leather? Yeah. Smell the glove. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you're also in this other bit that we shot back in the TV show days, and this is actually one of my favorite ones, was the thrash and joust. Oh, my gosh. One of the most hated bits on Jackass, I think. How is that? I don't know. I just heard people don't like it. People didn't want to shoot it before we did it. And people just thought it was stupid. Is that true, Clever? What? That people hated the thrash and joust? Yeah, in general, yeah. Why? I thought it was so funny. I think the fake acting, I think they, the fact that we tried to act in it when Jackass was all just improvisation all the time, and then we actually tried to like say was, lines and yeah, have silly costumes and big stuff. Big departure from what yeah. Jackass was... But, I think you know, it was in the final episode too, wasn't it? It was like the last thing, probably. But it was so fun because, like, I love the one little line that Wee Man has, and it's, "No, you be there." You know that? That was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course we're acting, you know, or you know, like it was all part of the the joke, you know. Like, yeah, I think that was part of the joke was to make fun of how bad the movie was. It was really part was. of it. Yeah. Let's talk about the gauntlet and number two. Super exciting. It's amped. Just amped for it. I, well, I, mean, I couldn't. I saw the whole setup and I just got really excited. I was like, "This is going to be fun." Like, why wouldn't you want to do that? You yeah. know, half of those guys are not half of them, but a few of them are professional professional athletes. Who? Or former Who? professional athletes. Preston Lisa. I'm not naming names. I'm just saying they're professional athletes, oh, and they just weren't very. Tony Hawk. Ex- they weren't very excited to go across Bam the gauntlet. Margera. You know, I think Bam went for it. He went. He did switch. Like I said, I'm not naming names. I'm just saying there were some professional athletes there that. Didn't want to do the gauntlet that bad. Yeah, that was pretty fun, man. That you pre- you pretty much made that bit like good, you know, because the fact that at least someone made it, you know. Through. Yeah, yeah. Um, the guy tried to stop that one sandbag in front of me because he thought I would hit it, but I was blindfolded. But I just had my eyes closed. 
Like, Come on, shit. did you? You probably had it to where you could just see a little bit, right? No, I don't think that would have made a difference anyways. You'd still get hit even if you could see. Because even when you have your eyes open, you're still getting hit all the time. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, it's hot in this room. Let's get the fuck out of here. Thanks for having me, Rick. Yeah, thanks for coming by. Got to do it again sometime. Definitely. I think you know once this maybe evolves, we ever get better at it, we'll. Step oh, there's up. lots of stories to tell. Lots of stories. They're never ending. Yeah. All right, you guys. We're out of here, man. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Later.